Picking out the best phones from Mobile World Congress is easy, so we've gone a step further and picked out the most important things to know about phones in 2012. First up, it's pretty obvious that those single and dual-core days are coming to an end, with a whole raft of phones sporting quad-core processors. That means a more responsive, faster and more capable phone for gaming, apps and media. The downside is more power means a need for bigger and better batteries, so don't count on your phone going without a nightly charge in 2012. Large, full HD screens are not a new thing, but the next generation of phones are almost to a man bringing you some scintillating displays. Expect brighter and sharper screens in your next-gen phones. Who doesn't like an ice cream sandwich? The manufacturers clearly do, because a massive percentage of new phones and tablets for 2012 will be sporting Android 4.0 and all the benefits that brings. That is until they roll out the successor, Jelly Bean. Remember when top-end phones used to be all about the Sony Ericssons and Nokias? Well, the likes of Samsung, Motorola and HTC need to watch their backs, because a whole new group of manufacturers are making better handsets to compete with the big boys. We're talking Huawei, ZTE, Asus and Panasonic, all who impressed at MWC. But another trend that might not be so welcome is the price tag. We don't expect phones to be getting any cheaper in 2012. The global economy may be in the toilet, but with things like waterproof handsets as well as those faster processors and better screens flooding the market, the manufacturers aren't going to be throwing their handsets into the bargain bucket anytime soon.